and welcome to story time with Miss Morgan at the Tennessee State Museum. I am so excited. It's summertime. Are you guys excited? I bet you are. Do you know one of the cool things though, that we'll be doing this summer is we're partnering with the Governor's Early Literacy Foundation um, in their summer program. And so they've given us some really cool books to read this summer and I'm very excited to read them. Um, so today, to start off our summer reading program, we'll be reading We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Now, this book, I know I say it about all my books, but it is truly one of my favorites because it just makes me giggle so much. So sit back, sit up straight, and let's start reading. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Ooh, look at her room, you guys. I love it. She's got a map. She's got her stuffed dinosaurs. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches in one apple juice. Mmm, that looks delicious. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... <gasps> Children! <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at those happy faces though. Look, I bet that's her teacher. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex said, Miss Noodleman, we do not eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. Blech. not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. Uh-oh. Do her new friends look very happy? So, she tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger-painted some of her best work. Look at her. What is she doing there? Yep. Do you see that picture? She is eating a friend. I don't know about this, you guys. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit right here on her plate. Uh-oh. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. Uh-oh. You see how they're kind of sitting away from her at circle time and at blocks? It was very lonely. When she got home, her dad asked her about the first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Uh, Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you meet your classmates? Uh, well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really, really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Miss Noodleman, Penelope ate William Automato again. And they're all afraid of her. Oh no, they're all running away. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish, so Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! <gasps> ah! Grab Penelope. He's eating my finger. <laughs> Uh -oh. Now, once Penelope found out 
about what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. Look, do you see her finger? It's got a boo-boo on it now. <clears throat> so she stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you! Want a brownie? I helped to make them. Mmm, those look delicious. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she sneaks a peek at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lip. <gasps> because dinosaurs are delicious. The end. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed reading it. It's one of my favorites because it just makes me laugh. Because, uh, you know, do we eat our classmates? That would be so silly. Uh, one of the things I love about this book, though, you guys, is the part where her dad tells her that even though her friends look tasty, they're just like her on the inside, which means they are probably all nervous and excited for their first day of school. And so even though sometimes there are people who don't look like us or act like us, just remember that on the inside, they are just like us. We are all humans maybe tasty humans in Penelope's mind, but we are humans. So we are so excited to start the summer reading program. So I have something I'd like you to do. So at your house, uh, you can find a notebook like I did, or maybe make a book. But what I'd love for you to do is this summer is take time every day to read one book or maybe two or maybe three or 10, but you got to read one book. And every time you read a book, I want you to open up your notebook and write it down. And you can write the title. So for us, we would write down, We Don't Eat Our Classmates and the author, so Ryan T. Higgins. And then write a sentence about if you liked it, or maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you hate this book, and that is okay. Because everyone likes different things. So I want you to keep up with this journal the whole summer. So when you go back to school, you can take it to your teacher and say, look at all the fun things I read this summer. And maybe you can share some of those books with your classmates. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next time at Storytime with Miss Morgan. Bye, guys.